This morning we're in the greenhouse planting some of our fall crop. We've been doing a little cleaning of the summer stuff and whatever's left from spring and making way for fall. It's hopefully starting to cool down here a little bit in the morning. First step on the list, radishes. Step on the list is tying up strings so that our second round of green beans can climb. We have pole beans planted in the greenhouse and we have bush beans outside in the crop garden. These pole beans were just put in here not that long ago and they are doing great. They need somewhere to climb though. You can see most of this box is already done, but I ran out of twine. We had this green twine left from the spring when we did our peas this way. We'll, we'll put a link to the video up above. I picked up more twine yesterday, so we're going to finish off these two beds this morning and get them up and going. And since it's nice and cool in here today, we might get some more cleanup done. <music> Sometimes you just have problems come up when you're working. My string on the bottom broke and everything lifted up. We just tied it back down and we're good to go. Now that our string is all up, we're going to direct some of the bean shoots that are already looking for something to climb and send them on the side of the aisle we want them to go on rather than one side getting heavier than the other. They still have a mind of their own though, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> done we're just going to cut off our twine probably want to hold on to the top end rather than the bottom end so that it doesn't spring up and loosen up your line of string I'm going to cut off a little extra because we're going to tie this on to this string here or wrap it around this one or the other We'll just tie it down here. You hear the raindrops? We have not had rain in Oregon for like a month and a half at least. And usually I don't think any of us Oregonians would complain, but we have some raging wildfires right now. And they could definitely use the rain in that area. And we've got a bunch of smoke that's been hanging out creating kind of an overcast over the rest of us here in the valley. And we are excited for some relief from that. I don't know if you can see this bean sprout here. He kind of just landed there. I'm going to gently wrap him around this twine and get him trained to go up. And these will get a good nine feet tall and use our vertical space in our greenhouse to be growing food so we get the most out of our space. Now it's on to the next box. Thank you. 
at the end of my rope. Good thing you can buy more rope. Let's see what it looks like. There you go. Two rows of pole beans tied off in the greenhouse. We're making good use of this vertical space in the middle so that we can get the most abundance from the space that we have. I still have babies in the greenhouse. We kind of planted them late and it's been hot and busy. Anyway, today they're a priority. I'm going to get our tool out of here and take these out. These here are yellow, a yellow summer squash, I think. So they'll probably be good still. Once we get them out there, they'll really sprout. And then these are nasturtiums. They're companion plants. So out we go. Down here at an empty spot. We just didn't have enough beans to go on the ground. <sighs> oh, blackberries! Yeah, gotta pull those out. They're not supposed to be there. They're all over the place. Down here! We're gonna put these yellow flowers squash down here. You can see it's already mulched here, and that's fine. We're just going to move our plant here. We're going to pull out this blackberry. i tell you, it, some of these are some of the stubbornest weeds. The only good thing is with the ground prepared, it comes out pretty easy. So we're just going to move some mulch away. There's our water hose. Our water line. Our water line's right here. So we're going to dig a hole here for that plant. See how nice that soil is? It's nice and moist under there, even though it's been in the high 90s and very, very dry. I've got a block here that didn't sprout anything, so we're going to put the soil in there. That doesn't have to be done, but I have it. I don't want to waste it. And then our plant. We just put the soil back around it. Pack it in tight so it stands up. And then we're going to put the mulch, let's see, put the mulch back around it, cover it up. Like I could use some more down here. We want it thick so that this plant's the only one growing. Not those blackberries or this grass. are done. Time to put the nasturtiums in somewhere. I think we're going to put these in with the cucumbers. The pickling cucumbers because that's where they were supposed to go and it's a little late but I think they'll do okay there. <music> Woo, it's 
getting hot in here, so we are going to plant just one tray of seeds today. Alright, the rutabaga seeds are in and we didn't have room for fennel, so it'll have to wait for another day. Thanks for joining us down the farm. We will see you next time. St. Piacra's farm. Piacra. 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 We will see you next week.